Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple FAQ in a Drupal 10 website. Uh, let's get started. I have here in my terminal a simple Drupal 10, very fresh install. I'm going to launch it with DDEV, the amazing Docker container uh, manager. It's getting going. Um, and there it is. So we have a very simple empty website. So let's get started. First, we got to talk about content and content types. Now, a content type in Drupal, you will find in the main menu here under structure, content types. And these are all the content types available within your website. Uh, by default, you have an article and a basic page. That is the article is used for like blog posts and such. Let's see what kind of fields it has. It has a body, comments, an image, and tags. So if we were to go to content itself, add content, and select the article, you would see the same thing. Everything has a title. There's the image. There's the body. There's the tags. This form itself, the create article form, can be edited, uh, rearranged however you want in the manage fields. You can go to manage form display. And let's say you wanted to do something weird like put this title away at the bottom. Hit save. And then if you go back to creating content, add content you have your title down near the bottom. There you go. So we are going to create a whole new content type. It's going to be called back. Funnily enough, add content type. Well, first we went to structure, content types, add content type. This is going to be called FAQ. Frequently asked questions is the description we're going to leave all the um, defaults they're all pretty sane when you publish or when you save it will by default be published um, promoted to the front page if you are using a list on the front page or the default home page uh, create new revision drupal has concept of revision so you can undo on and redo however you please now that's it for the basics of the FAQ content type. So we'll just save and manage fields. So that brings us to the manage fields page, which will allow us to add our, uh, whatever fields we want for our FAQ. This works out of the box with just the, it'll have a title in this body. Uh, we'll go ahead and let's just add an image. So, Take a step back. I went to the add field button. And this just gives you a list of fields where you can reuse something that's a field that's already been used in another content type. Um, for this purpose, we're going to create a new one. We're looking for image. Image is the label. It gives it a machine name for uh, programming and whatnot. Like uh, when you need to reference it in a custom module or a theme or something, this will be the, uh, the key in whatever array or object you're working with. That name is already in use. So we're going to call ours underscore FAQ. Now you get to the field settings. Um, this page will differ depending on which type of field you have um, you selected. We selected the image field, so it gives us a nice browse button to select a default image if um, one isn't provided, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, we skipped up the upload destination. That is simply where it's gonna store the files. Um, as it's a default site, we only have the public 
files available but if you had say like an s3 bucket you could install the s3 fly system modules and be on your way with just uploading straight to a bucket anyhow um the last option available is the number of images you allow on each field um you can go ahead and set unlimited you can you know put these little do daddies here or just type in something but we only want one image so we're going to leave it limited to one save field and <clears throat> that is that we have our field it's a whole bunch of different options um i should go over them i guess there is the maximum image resolution so if you only want to say a thousand pixels by 400 pixels wide then that's what you do but we're not going to do any of that we're just going to leave the defaults if you want you can go ahead and learn on your own ask questions Hit me up if you ever have a question. I don't mind. Now, I saved and we have a per perfectly functional FAQ content type, which we could now add content and it's in our list under basic page FAQ. Uh, this was the description that I entered frequently asked questions. Let's say what is everything Knock it down. Uh, we're going to find a image what is up image here we go uh, kind of wanted that one but whatever that was right let's get back to our FAQ page browse for that new awesome image which it is not allowing us to upload it was a webp image <clears throat> and by default you cannot upload webp images let's actually take a look at that why not we go to the configuration media um i think i'm going in the wrong spot but i'm going to check it out anyway yeah, no, I was wrong. We have to go to the field of the FAQ. I want to say it's also somewhere else in the system setting, but we'll start here. Yes, there it is. Allowed file extensions. Maybe I shouldn't have been so quick to gloss over, huh? Save settings. I added WebP to that little list. Let's try again. Add content, FAQ. What is up? Uh, blue bar. Let's get that image. Try again. Look at that. What up image is the alternative text? We don't need any kind of revisions. We're just going to save. Why not preview? Let's have a look. And we get a little preview of what our page is going to look like. And it's quite ugly, but at least it's a start. So let's get down here. Nope. Oh, yeah. Check that out. You get to see the teaser. So if you include it in a, a list, like a view list or something, it will look like that. And the full node will look like this. Back to content editing. Okay, let's just save it. And that concludes creating an FAQ content type. And then the, in the next video, we'll create a view to display a list of FAQ questions.